Hey guys, what's up? Abomination 9 here. We're back playing some more Xenoblade Chronicles X. When we left off, we were doing more affinity missions, so I don't know what the last one I did was. The Ties That Bind, I think? I think that's what it was. The one with Tatsu. Uh, but yeah, we're going to do another affinity mission. This was Meeting Yevel. Or Yevel. Uh, let me see. Yeah, Meeting Yevel. I don't know how, how we want to say his name, though. We can't take Alyssa with us because this is a new party member I believe that we can have so I'm gonna have to drop Alyssa for this one unfortunately though I know where she's at so it's not that big a deal and Yelv or however you want to pronounce his name is right there so I don't know if I'm really gonna like this guy he kinda seems like the kind of person who's gonna be like like dumb cool dude hey you I've been looking for you Come here a minute. I've got something you're about to do for me. Exactly my point. Why well, I said he didn't look like someone I was going to uh, like having. Because he seems like kind of a jerk. He looks like that kind of guy. I actually just want to point out that that's kind of funny. Say that I have to go wash my hair. Like, really? That's like such a dumb like response. Oh, yeah, never mind. I got to go wash my hair. Like, what? Smart choice. Smart people live longer. Here, I picked out a mission or three for you. No thanks needed. Run along and handle them. Should be a cakewalk. Real easy, sweet. So, tell him to get lost, or say that you'll do them. I don't know, I feel like this is the kind of situation where I'd like to be funny and just say stupid stuff like, tell them to get lost, but I'm just going to agree, though, if I come back and he wants credit for the missions, I might take a different stance. Because I'm assuming that's what's going to happen here. He's making us do this stuff, and then when we come back, he's going to take credit for it. So, if that happens, then I probably will take the negative choice rather than the positive one if they're is such a choice at that point. I'll send the details to your comm device. Get back to me when you're done. enough yeah oh and don't take too long or you and me will have problems time to prove you ain't all show and you better impress it's like why do i care about your opinion apparently i've already completed one of them uh take on blah blah you gathered the required number of whatever that material was so i've already done one of them defeat two young Sinculus in primordia which it does have points for that so yeah, why do I need to impress you? I don't. I didn't even care about you in the uh, in the first place. So it's like, what? This guy's so full of himself. And these two, in the back there, enjoyed me agreeing to do what he told me to. Like, what? What kind of personality personality do you two girls have that you got off on me um, listening to this guy? Anyways, we need to go not too far. I could walk there, but to save me having to do any uh, Apocalypse 9 radio jokes, I will just fast travel there rather than fast forwarding and post. Okay, so I need to kill these crabs. The last time I tried to kill one of these, a giant one showed up and started attacking me, so I don't think that's a good idea. It's a very, very bad idea. And freaking Lucille. I'm pretty sure that's Lucille, yeah. That's Lucille right there. Level 92 Tyrant Eternal. Okay, so I'm gonna fight this thing, but I'm gonna try to drag it. Oh wait, no, I can see see I can see the big one coming over here already. Uh, I don't know, because I feel like if I hit him, like, immediately, as soon as I hit this guy, 
The big guy in the back is going to show up. I think I need to wait for his pattern to... For his uh, cycle to go through. Alright, he's coming around. Okay, I think he's far enough, but I'm not too sure. I think I should still, uh, I think I should still wait. Okay, I think that's good enough. It's gonna take a while to kill this guy. Freaking the big guy's gonna end up coming over here by that time. I don't really know, like, what the effects of really using sleep are in this game. Because, like, your team's going to be attacking the whole time. Like, you have to actually potentially stop attacking to, for um, sleep to actually be effective. Because you can use it to stop, like, heavy attacks. Like, I got, like, serious, like, strategy uh, going on when I was fighting that guy in the... Uh, what was Was it Renewed Wills? I don't think it was Renewed Wills. It was mechanized, or weaponized. Where I had to fight that boss that took forever, and I had to, like, actually make the game easier to fight him. If you haven't seen that, you should probably watch that, because I went to a totally new area in that episode, which I didn't put that in the title. But I'm pretty sure if I put... I went to went to uh, Silvalum in the title. It probably would have like people more people would have watched it. But yeah, I went to Silvalum in that place. Checked out that saw an island also that wasn't even on the map. Like there's an entire island in between a uh, Primordia and Silvalum that isn't even on the map. And uh, yeah, I saw a lot of stuff there. But I mean, freaking. I had to fight this guy that took me four hours, and then even at, after four hours, I still wasn't able to beat him, so I just had to make the game easier. For that boss or whatever, whenever you, I guess, spend too much time on something, it gives you the option to make the game easier just for that boss. But yeah, uh, like I was saying, you can use sleep to cancel attacks but you could do the same thing with topple and topple lasts longer but if you need something to try to stop a heavy attack from going off just sleep is a viable option like put them to sleep right before uh, the heavy attack comes in and then it cancels it out so it's pretty much all it's really good for is to cancel an attack and that's if it even goes off So what else am I supposed to do? Nice I mean, one of them I already had done. Or we're apparently supposed to be going to Oblivia, I think, in one of these. The main area is supposed to be Oblivia. So I guess that's the second, the second round or whatever. Alright, so kill five latest in Primordia. I know what those are, I think. 
Or at least I n recognize that name. Where is this? Is this on the other side of the... It's on the other side of the map, so I'll just, again... Saving me from doing another... Apocalypse 9 skit, I will just teleport there. Is this inside? I don't know if that's inside or what. Yeah, I think it's inside, so I teleport to the wrong pool. Ah, I guess this is close enough. Oh, I have to go around this stupid mountain now. Oh, did I teleport inside the... Whoops. I think I teleported in the spawn. I didn't mean to do that.
all them jobs I gave you coming along, superstar. All right, all right. Looks like they're done. You have a hard time or what? Yeah? I picked nasty ones on purpose so I could test your metal. But hey, guess you're a real big shot. Well, you pass. Congrats. As of today, you're partnered with the legendary Yell. You've been deemed worthy of tackling reclaimer missions by my side. Just had to sniff out your skills first. Yeah, quite the honor. But for a whole pile of candidates before you. Right, enough yapping. Let's say we christen this new partnership with an assignment. Next stop, mission control. Let's hope they got something fun. Indigen slays three dozen blades. <laughs> Sounds fun. What else? Yeah, they're ten small eddies. <laughs> That's kids work. Or recover fallen fragments of the whale. Classic reclaimer gig there. Well, Bard, you getting any chuckles here? Didn't realize I was gonna get it. A choice. Like, does it matter? What I pick? So we can kill something, gather something, which absolutely not. Or reclaim something. It's like, what? Does this have an impact on the story? Or. Obviously, he wants to reclaim stuff. Because he's a reclaimer, right? But I would rather kill something. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. Um, hunt? I feel like I should pick Reclaim just because of him, but... Hunt? Down for grabbing a white whale. I figured. Looks like nobody's been there yet. You showed up on Frontier Nam and everything. Sounds like a perfect job for the new reclaimer hotshots, huh? Let's get a move on, Pard. I want to see those feet of yours fly. I knew they were going to give me like three options to do whatever I want, so. And we have to go to Bolivia. And it is a section I haven't put a thing down, but I think I've walked past there before. It says this is on the beach, though, so I don't know. I'll teleport to here. The Twin Arches, I think it says, what this part of the map is called. Apparently, I have a mission to kill these guys, so... I mean, while I'm here, right, I might as well kill one. Looks like he has some kind of, like, uh... Photon sword, I think they're called, in this game. 
Um, we're a bit too close to that level 20. They better not do anything like last second that makes us... Okay, he isn't next to the, us anymore, so we can do whatever. Hopefully we can actually jump off to the shore from here. Because I don't want to have to go all the way around and swim. Though again, talking about that, um... What was that place about? Silvalum or something? That place, I stayed there for so long. Like I said, I was there for like four hours that... I feel like it changed seasons. Like... Obviously it had its normal version. Then it had... Uh, the time where I guess it's version of rain which just makes the entire area foggy. Then there was a time where like these white like dandelion flowers were sprouting everywhere. And then there was a time where the everything turned like psychedelic color and like green and purple. Like you didn't get to see it, but like that place went through a lot of phases while I was there for four hours trying to kill one enemy. Also looks like this just goes down into the shore. It says there was a probe back there somewhere. I don't see a beam though. It's probably above us. Oh. What? What's on me? Oh, yeah, I was about to say, like, these guys are on the list for uh, squad stuff, so I might as well kill them. But one came to us first though. The only me and Elmore are level 19. Lin's only level 18, and obviously Yell is only 14. So I don't know which one this is. Is this the first one? It must be the first one. So we need 70 of these guys. I could do that. I mean, we're wasting time for the video. Don't call me that. Actually, I don't want to fight that one because it's too close to this one right here. Stop calling me that. Okay, I think I'm actually going to sit here and kill uh, kill all of these guys until we have enough for my squad mission down there. So, I think I will actually fast forward through this part. So, you're probably going to get Apocalypse 9 radio segment right now. Welcome back to Apocalypse 9 radio. I'm your host, Abomination 9, bringing you the greatest hits of Kevin MacLeod. Currently, you're listening to Harmful or Fatal.
um, just got done feeling, uh, killing that guy, and there's electricity just popping off everywhere for some reason. I don't know why. Is it behind us too? What the heck's going on around here? Like what? Why is there just like random electricity? Like can it actually hit me? I don't know if that's just like an effect around me or if that's like uh Or I don't know what's going on. Oh, yeah, I'm taking damage, I think. I just, um, yeah, we're taking damage. I don't know why though. Also, I'm killing this guy because apparently I need him for quests as well. Oh, he's level 24. What am I doing? Whoops. Didn't look at his level before attacking him. The scorpion. We got like, our tank is almost dead. Oh crud, yeah, everyone just, everyone died. Whoops. Well, whatever, anyways. What's going on around here with electricity? How far did I go back, actually? Is this at the front of the freaking cave? Well, here's a skip back over there. I never forgot what that was, that green ball over there. Like, we went over there in that one episode I was talking about, but I we never figured out what that was. I don't remember ever looking at that or ever seeing it once I was there. So I still don't know what that green thing is. Okay, so what are we doing? Retrieve the debris. There's some debris right there being attacked by some mobs. Ready to go? The school is about to be in session. Time to teach these indigens who owns this little piece of Mira. I don't know, because, like, the way he put it, like, no, like, they were here first. And, but, obviously, he's not going to like me saying that. Though I don't think there's a reason to observe them. I, the They just seem like regular enemies that we can easily kill, but something might come up. I don't know. It can't just be this easy. I'll say the first one, hoping that maybe Lynn likes that as well. Okay, she did. Sounds like he's trying to replace someone with me, since that's the second time he said him or he, whatever. So it seems like someone's dead, or... Are you kidding me with the stagger stuff? Yeah, we probably should have... Okay, I need to put that on. She's taunting him. Let me heal him up. And it sounds like he's trying to replace someone that he lost. I guess if you're in a group, the sleep uh, works for a lot. So I tell them to concentrate on this one right here, and I end up putting the other two asleep, then uh, we can focus on one enemy. So I guess it works for that, too. Like, if I turn around to this guy and try to put him to sleep, and then stop attacking him and go for the other one. Oops, no. Attack. Looks like the debris got some earth-based animal samples in it. Not really what I'm after, though. <sighs> well, freak 
looking great. Let's get back to New LA and report to Eleonora. Is it that simple? Just go back. Is this all this mission was? Like kill a couple things. Oh, sweet. My blade level is increased. Blade level 3, lighting options added. Cool. We can check that out afterwards, I guess. It's a gift of light. Now you can adjust the lighting in your barracks, set it up however you like, make it dim and calming or bright and beautiful. Oh, and if you didn't know, you can customize your barracks by using the console beside the entrance to the blade network lobby. Yeah, now on to your bonus field skill. Mechanical again. I mean, I would like to have archaeological to try to investigate the those artifacts that are lying around, but we're going to go for mechanical again so I can start plotting more probes. So now we have mechanical three. Your blade level has increased a lot. I'll now reward award your next bonus. What? Again? Your newest bonus is right here. Room colors added. So I have more colors to change. It was pretty much just shades of white and red. I mean, just shades of white and red. It was just shades of white and black. It's a new set of color variation. Now you can beautifully coordinate the color of your walls and ceilings from one of 18 new variations. Now onto your bonus field skill. Okay, I haven't really come across too much 4 stuff, though I know they're, they are out there. I know there's one 4 place. We're gonna go archaeological. I think. There we go, we got one archaeological, or two archaeological now. That concludes the warning of bonuses. Please come report to me when your level rises again. You know where to find me. And that wasn't even, like, what you call it? That was just me happening to talk to her. I didn't even know... It should tell me that... Uh, when I have the thing, we're making it more prominent. Welcome back, yo. How did this round of salvaging go? Find anything nice out there? Bupkis is what we found. Give it over to the lady part. Tissue sample? Hmm? Earth animal genome data? The lab guys are going to have a field day. But I'm sorry, we still haven't found what you're looking for. Spare me. I ain't looking for nothing. Oh, sorry. Can I say something wrong? I didn't mean to. <laughs> Talking with you is like walking a minefield, you know? That's why all the other reclaimers keep their distance. Which is a shame, since you're a total softie underneath. Look, we did our job. You do yours, and make it the reward already. Okay, okay. Here you go, Grumpy. If only we could. We're gonna be working together a long time, you and me. Best to get to know each other. All right. Ask what Eleanor meant when she said that Yelv was looking for something, or tell Yelv a cold one sounds great. Uh, I don't think he's gonna like this, but I think I'm gonna pry. Cause like, what is he looking for? Is he looking for him? In like the life hold pods or whatever? Is he looking for him? Whoever him is? Cause I know like he's not gonna like me prying. I don't really care. And like I when I said I wish we could, I wish we could in the uh in a way like we could actually go into buildings and just miscellaneously just sit there and drink or eat something and it does like nothing for us, just like as an immersion. Like, oh yeah, I wanna go to uh freaking uh, the diner and just have a seat and have like a burger or something like since you can't go into any buildings I know there's a quest where you we might actually go inside a diner because I know there's a quest right outside the diner but I want to just go there whenever I feel like and just have a seat and do nothing like I would like to do that but I we can't in this game and I'm gonna pray you and your big 
You actually like that. Look, I don't want to talk about it, okay? Oh, come on. Forget all that and go drown our sorrows. Cheers to the pair that's going to change the course of Reclaimer history. You and me, Bard. You and me. We'll find every last scrap of the white whale or die trying. All right, now we got him. Looks like he says he was a blast fencer. Though we're dropping him, and we're gonna go get uh, Alexa back. Though I'm not gonna do that right now. I'll do that off camera. Actually, where did I find his quest? He was in town. He's in town behind the thing, so he probably will still be there. I have to hope that he's still there. So we're gonna go inside before I end the video, and we're gonna check out all the new stuff I got. I haven't really showed this off. I messed around with this uh, in one of the videos, but I did it during a fast forward, so you didn't really see me do this. I changed everything to have like a white and black tone to it. Like there's more white and more black. It's not just grays. And over here, there's a hologram projector, and I put up uh, a picture of that one person, Geo, Geotra. I don't know. I don't know what her name is. It's like the only cool thing on there. Like she's a boss character, so I thought she. I put her up there. Everyone else is just like normal. Um, no enemies, and I don't even know if I have any of like the guns or whatever. But yeah, it's a complete like 3D model. It's not just like a flat image. Oh my god, the camera rotation speed. Also, where did all these quests come from? There's like two more back there. I'm never gonna get anything done. Okay, what is this? Uh, okay, I need to be level 50, so nowhere. Well, I can't I can't do it now, so it's not that big a deal. And level 22 BFFs can't do that right now. Cuz I'm not level 22. All right, so this thing right here. Customization. Uh, let's start with the common room. How oh, we can change the floor now. Look at all these different colors. We go red maybe. A red floor. Let's go with that. Let's red and yeah, red top, red bottom. I like that. And that's a bit. This is a bit too moody. I like the white contrast on the red, so I, I'll I'll keep it like that. So we do the same thing, so white, red, red. Jesus Christ, I changed so much. I guess we'll keep the blade symbol too, because the blade symbol uh, matches. Oh, that stays the same. Uh, red, and that was a nice blue. This one. I guess they're all like nice colors. And red. All the lighting as well. So we have the basic lighting. Okay, so that's brighter. And I don't know. So we have normal. That seems like it has like a bluish tint to it. Like it's it's hard to tell, but it looks like it has a bluish tint. Which you probably can't tell too much in the video. But it kind of looks blue. And this is like an orange. So I guess that's kind of moody. Let's go with the moody one. So yeah, now we got our sweet red and white moody. Well, it's not moody. I guess orange tinted barracks. So that's pretty cool. Go check out the hangers. So you can see all that red changed over here. So can I have this many skulls, like, just in reserve? Like, four? Because, like, it's an entire hanger. It's just not, like, one thing. It's, like, four slots. So can I have four, four dolls when it comes to that? Which will be too long. It'll be a while from now because I'm just, I'm literally just wasting time. Wasting as much time as I can possibly can before I get to chapter 6. Uh, but yeah guys, uh, thanks for watching. Turn in the next episode. We'll be doing another Affinity mission, I'm pretty sure, after this. So yeah, uh, likes or comments, you'll do. See ya.